Hello, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, in my first uh, video, I have uh, explained you about six marks questions on a high purchase system. In this video, I would like to tell you about uh, 14 marks question, how it appears in the examination. See, the 14 marks question contains uh, all the four methods of calculation of interest. Any one method it may come. But... <clears throat> The second method and the fourth method, interest calculation is the most important. So I have given one small uh, question here. With the help of that, let us see how to prepare. So ledger accounts along with the interest calculation and depreciation. See so here, I have uh, written a, a question on the board. Mr. Raman purchased a machine costing rupees to like 40,000 on 1-4-2013 from the Bangalore Machine Limited. So here, who is buying is uh, Mr. Raman is purchasing and who is the seller is the, uh, who is that uh, Bangalore Machine Limited is the seller. So the total cost of the machine is 240,000 rupees. The terms and conditions as given like this, 60,000 rupees as a down is nothing but a down payment and the balance in three equal annual installments means out of 240,000, if you deduct 60,000 rupees, whatever the balance you get, that balance you are dividing into three equal annual installments along with together with interest. That means whatever you get, say for example, if uh, the cost of the machine is 240, that is a cash price, we call it as a cash price. And in this, if you deduct, down payment of 60,000 rupees, you get 1 lakh 80. If you divide this 1 lakh 80 balance amount in three annual installments, you will be getting 60,000 rupees. That means in this 60,000 rupees, interest is not included. What is that? Interest is not included. Now, this is if interest is not included and if the rate of interest is given, it is called a second method. I have shown in my first video. Now let us find out how to calculate interest. See calculation of interest, calculation of interest is very simple. Take cash price first as 2 lakh 40. From this cash price, <coughs> direct down payment of 60,000. From this you get 1 lakh 80. So this is the the first year amount which uh, the vendor has given to you as a loan. On this we have to calculate interest at uh, 20%. Say interest 20% on 1 lakh 80. Very simple 20% divided into 10 10. 10% 10 on 1 lakh 80 is 18,000 and 20% will be double of that. That is 36,000. So totally you need to pay 2 lakh 16,000 rupees. From this direct first installment. Say first installment. The cash price of the installment is 60,000 and the interest for the first year is 36,000 and put together it is 96,000. If you deduct, you get 1,20,000. This is end of the first year. Second year, you have to pay 1,20,000 on this we need to calculate interest at 20%. It comes to 24,000 means 10%, 12,000, 20% will double of that. So 1,44,000. From this, we need to deduct second installment amount. Second installment is 60,000 for cash price and 24,000 rupees of interest, 84,000. And the balance left is 60,000. This is the amount left in the first year of the first date of the third year. On this, we need to calculate interest again at 20%. It comes to 12,000. So what is the amount? It becomes total 72,000. If you deduct third installment, third installment is 60,000 towards the cash price plus 12,000 rupees of interest, total 72,000. So end of the third year, it becomes zero. So this is how we need to calculate the interest. Now in this question, he is asked again, one more question called as a depreciation. So how to calculate depreciation? It's very simple. Depreciation calculation. See, calculation of depreciation. See, 
calculation of depreciation we should take always cash price the cash price is 240 on this we need to calculate 15 percent of depreciation if you calculate depreciation 15 percent how do you get 15 percent is very simple on 240 10 percent is 24,000 half of that is 12,000 that is 36,000 so 36,000 four zero two so two lakh four thousand rupees from this deduct again second year depreciation see second year depreciation is very simple fifteen percent on ten percent it comes to twenty thousand four hundred half of that is ten thousand two hundred so twenty four hundred ten two hundred it becomes thirty thousand six hundred is it simple so this is second year depreciation and it comes to 173,400 300 uh, 173,400 so we calculate 15% depreciation at uh, on third year so third year depreciation calculation is very simple so <clears throat> how to calculate the uh, is uh, very simple see on this 173,400 10% is 17,340 okay off of this is we can calculate 34 is 17 17 8 14 15 3 so 25,170 so now 25,170 we can calculate and keep it as uh, 3 minus 2 and 8 uh, 4 and 1 1 lakh 48,230 so this is the three years depreciation now what is to be remembered when you are preparing a ledger account is very simple we need to remember the first interest for three years and the depreciation of three years if you remember these two things it's very easy to prepare all ledger accounts whatever is asked prepare necessary ledger accounts we can prepare necessary ledger accounts however we want them See guys, uh, we have prepared, we have calculated the interest as well as depreciation. <clears throat> now I made a note of interest for third year, first year, second year, third year. And uh, same time, depreciation for first year, second year, third year, I have marked it here. Now what are the necessary ledger accounts we have to prepare is very simple. We need to prepare a machinery account. We also call it as an asset account. Machinery account or asset account. How to prepare asset account is... Say so take it as a date column, amount column, so debit and uh, amount column. So this is a machinery account, keep it as a debit and credit. This is amount in rupees, this is particulars, this is date, this is amount, this is particulars and date. Now from where we have to start with machinery account is we have to start with uh, when you buy any asset the entry what we give is machinery account debit to bank account or a cash account but here we are not buying for a cash we are buying under high purchase system so on the first day of the first year first day of the first year we have made a, a down payment of 60,000 rupees to the vendor so thereby we take it as a two bank account this is for down payment so thereby we are showing 60,000 rupees as a down payment see at the end of the first year at the end of the first year again we need to make a, a payment of first installment towards the cash price here we should not take we should not take what installment price we should take only the cash price so excluding the interest price so that is that we need to pay to higher vendor as 60,000 rupees at the end of the first year see when you use from 1st January to 31st of December of first year the value of the machinery comes down because of usage so thereby we need to provide depreciation for the first year so the depreciation for the first year is 36,000 rupees now you paid at the end of the first year total 120,000 and 120,000 and since you use 36,000 rupees of asset the value of the asset at the end of the first year it will be 84,000 that will be balance carry down and for the second year beginning that becomes brought down value that means at the end of the first year 
your value of the machinery in your at the end of the first year your value of the machinery is only 84000 rupees but not 120000 because though you paid 60000 in the down payment and the first year 60000 rupees since you have used the machine for one year the value of the machine is come down by 36000 now you have only value of 84000 suppose if you want to sell in the first year itself you can sell it for 84000 rupees or more than that or lesser than that, whatever it is now this is balance brought down for the first year, second year beginning now again on 31st of december you need to pay 60000 rupees towards installment as a cash price so and you have used even for the second year as depreciation you have to provide depreciation second year depreciation is 30600 now totally you paid at the end of the first year at the end of the second year at the end of the second year you paid 144000 144000 since you have used it so the value becomes 113400 this will be end of the second year that will be carried for the beginning of the third year as two balance brought down 113400 again you need to make a payment of third installment towards the cash price at the end of 31st of December, third year, you need to pay 60,000 rupees. Again, you use third year as a depreciation. We need to charge on the asset because you have used it. And depreciation for that year is 25,170. So now, almost you paid 173,400 at the end of the third year. But you have used 25,170 rupees of asset. So thereby depreciation we have charged. And the rest of the balance will be 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus uh, 1,73, okay, I'm sorry, 1,73, 400, so 4, 5 plus 8, 13, 3 plus 4, 7, 1,048,230, ,000, so this will be the closing balance of the machinery at the end of the third year, so this is the, this value is very important for us. Now, we have learned how to prepare machinery account. I'll just uh, quickly I'll tell you. First, whenever you are preparing machinery account, you need to take first uh, how much down payment he has paid. We have to take it as to bank account. And please make sure, write how much you have to pay at the end of each year, how much you are due to hire vendor. Take only the cash price. Only the cash price, not the installment price. So cash price towards the first year, second year, third year is same as 60,000 rupees as shown in the earlier this thing calculations. So just we need to put thus those values. After this machinery account, we need to prepare one more account called as higher vendor account. See higher vendor account. <clears throat> this account is as simple as it is. See Preparing this account is very simple because when you have finished machinery account, preparation of machinery account, preparing higher vendor account is very simple. How it is? See, in the first year, second year, third year, you have higher vendor account, higher vendor account, higher vendor account as 60, 60,000 rupees in three years. So, since it is debited in machinery account, higher vendor is debited. Now, in the higher vendor account, we need to credit at the end of the first year at the end of the second year, at the end of the third year, how much you have to pay to the higher vendor towards machinery is 60,000. Machinery 60,000. Towards the machinery you have to pay 60,000. Now to the higher vendor you are not only payable 60,000 rupees towards uh, the machinery or cash price, you also you, you should pay even interest also. So thereby at the end of the first year, you have to pay interest of 36,000. At the end of second year, you need to pay 24,000. At the end of the third year, you have to pay interest of 12,000. So that means every year you need to pay along with the interest, you have to pay 96,000. And at the end of the first year, you paid a total amount of installment as 96,000. At the end of second year, 84,000 and 84,000 rupees you have to pay. This is also two bank account 
at the end of the second year. Third year, you have to pay 72,000 and you paid 72,000 rupees. See, if you remember the journal entry, when you make payment to anybody, to the high vendor, see the first year installment you paid is 96,000. What is the journal entry for that is higher vendor account debit to bank account you paid totally 96,000 rupees. See, your paid interest, it is an expenses for you and amount of machinery you, you purchase for first year is 60,000. So machinery account debit, interest account debit to the higher vendor account, you are totally due to higher vendor is 96,000 and you made a payment of 96, like that, first year, second year, third year. So this is how we need to prepare a machinery account and higher vendor account. Okay, pause. Uh, we have seen how to prepare machinery account and uh, also higher vendor account. Now I will show you two more accounts we need to prepare because whenever you ask to prepare necessary ledger accounts, we need to prepare first an asset account or a machinery account, higher weather account, then depreciation account and finally interest account we need to prepare. Now I will show you how to prepare depreciation account and interest account. These two are like you know, it's a very simple in understanding and also in preparing. Okay, so let's prepare depreciation account. See, when you prepare depreciation account, take date, particulars, amount, date, particular amount. Okay, this is debit, this is credit. See, as we have seen, when you prepared a machinery account, we have seen the depreciation in the credit side. First year, second year, third year, we have seen the credit side of the depreciation, I mean depreciation in the machinery account. Now, the depreciation was credited in machinery account. In depreciation account, it has to be debited. So, on which date it has to be debited? Always at the end of the first year, end of the second year, end of the third year. What is the depreciation? Already we have made a note on here. So, here I write it as to machinery account because depreciation was credited in machinery. In depreciation account, it is debited. So, how much it is? 36,000. Second year, how much? To machinery account, 30,600. Third year, to machinery account, it is 25,170. So that means every year we are debiting to depreciation account, to machinery account, and the same depreciation it has to transfer to profit and loss account at the end of the first year, at the end of the second year, at the end of the third year. So we write it as by profit and loss count, by profit and loss count as same amount 30,600, 25,170. Just uh, close the accounts and make the totals. Make the totals. So it's very simple depreciation account. So in depreciation account, two machinery in the first year, two machinery in the second year, two machinery in the third year. I'll show you interest account also. Interest account also is uh, similar to this. See, when we have prepared a higher vendor account, we have credited interest. We have credited interest to the higher vendor account. So, interest is credited in higher vendor account. In interest account, higher vendor is to be debited. So, when it has to be debited every year at the end of the first year, end of the second year, end of the third year. So, here you write uh, to higher vendor account, to higher vendor account, to higher vendor account. How much interest is first year 36, second year 24, third year 12,000. Already we made a note here. So same thing you can copy paste it here. And the same interest is uh, for the buyer interest is an expenses. So therefore we need to transfer to profit and loss account. So again on the first year end, second year end, third year end, we need to transfer profit and loss account by profit and loss account by profit and loss account. So 36,000, 24,000 and 12,000. So make a total and put the totals in the total columns. See ya. So simple because 14 marks within no minutes and it's very simple to learn. The only thing is we have to apply the method of calculation of interest at the beginning. See preparation of ledger account is very simple but the only thing is applying those method of calculation of interest will be the crucial part in the higher purchase system. So I will give you the best idea. So I think uh, you, you're all learned about how to prepare ledger accounts. 
So I'll give you some of the tips in higher purchase system while preparing the ledger accounts. See, when you're preparing the ledger accounts, first we should remember, see when you are preparing asset account, if you are preparing asset account, you should remember we should take cash price of the installment. Cash price of installment, but not including interest but not including the interest. This is the most important because we are preparing under asset accrual method. Whenever you are preparing an asset accrual method, we need to calculate cash price of the installment. You should make sure that installment is not included any interest. So this is a very, very important point. So this is about all about a 14 marks question. So I hope all of you understood and uh, for the next videos, interesting videos. So I'll be giving you a third method and fourth method of calculation of interest as well as preparation of ledger accounts in my next videos. Uh, I request all of you to subscribe my channel, Sai Study Circle, and press the, without missing, press the bell icon and share to all your friends, whoever is required, higher purchase system to learn as simple as possible. Thank you so much.